Since the beginning of the year, Saturday night has been Glamour Club night. And Depeche Mode have appeared here regularly. So has Albert. He's the crocodile. fashion up this way as there is in London. Even more so if you walk around South End. You see more people dressed up in South End than do in London. Yeah. Just 17, but I'm going to try and be 18 if I get in tonight. <laughs> I'm an insurance underwriter. Can you dress like that to work? Well, I wouldn't because, I mean, it's like saying, would you wear a dress suit, you know, to go to your job? You, you wear what you, you need to wear for the occasion. Yeah. I'm unemployed. Yeah. How easy is that for you to carry on the look when you ain't got any money? Not very easy. I usually go around second-hand shops and pick up what I can. Concert at Crocs is a far cry from the exclusive London gigs played by bands like Spandau Ballet, where the fans simply stood around and admired one another. The audience here have injected some of the fun of funk into the arty world of futurism. Although disco futurism may be thriving now, in a year or so the South East may have moved on from this style of music too, in the same way it moved on from R&B and heavy metal. For already, the hardcore fans put off by the disco bandwagon jumpers are looking for something new. I'd probably go for more classic style clothes, you know, things that have always been in, always, you know, always look smart, you know, because most of the things that have pirate things or whatever. They're all things that have lasted six months at the most and they've gone out, they've not stayed. You can't sort of go in your wardrobe a year later and sort of wear them because they look so dated. It's such a miserable time really, isn't it, for most people. They're all worried about things. It just makes an, you know, a nice escape for people just to go out and have a good time on a Saturday night. <laughs> 